Hey everyone, so are you stuck trying to pick your next Linux distro? Well, today we are putting two of the most beginner-friendly and popular ones head-to-head, -head, Zorin OS 18 and Linux Mint 22.2. In the next couple of minutes, we'll go over what makes each one special and hopefully help you decide which one's right for you. All right, first up, Zorin OS 18. The goal here is pretty clear. Make Linux feel super familiar for anyone coming from Windows or Mac OS. And honestly, it nails that, the highlight, the Zorin appearance tool. With just a few clicks, you can switch your whole desktop layout to look like Windows 11, Mac OS, or even classic GNOME. It's really slick. Zorin's built on the Ubuntu LTS base, so it's stable. And it also supports flat packs and snaps right out of the box, which means you've got access to tons of up-to-date apps. The whole system just feels polished, modern, and uh, kind of premium, you know? Now moving on to Linux Mint 22.2. If Zorin's about style and polish, Mint's all about, well, stability and simplicity. It's known for its, it just works philosophy. And that's not an exaggeration. The Cinnamon desktop gives you this fast, traditional interface that's super easy to get used to. Everything feels snappy and reliable. Mint is also built on Ubuntu LTS, but it takes a slightly different approach. It focuses more on native packages and flat packs. And uh, fun fact, it disables snaps by default, giving you more control over your software choices. So yeah, it's kind of the power user's favorite while still being beginner friendly. So which one should you choose? Well, that depends on what you're after. If you're new to Linux and want something that looks beautiful and feels instantly familiar, go for Zorin OS 18. It's smooth, easy to use, and just a great first step into the Linux world. But if you prefer something super reliable, lightweight, and distraction-free, then Linux Mint 22.2 is your best bet. It's like that old friend who just never lets you down. Steady, fast, and dependable. So which one's your daily driver? Zorin or Mint? Let me know down in the comments. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Linux videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.